This conference will now be recorded. Oh, hi everyone. We will be starting our next topic. That is dynamic modeling. Okay. So the topic that we are going to cover in dynamic modification group. They are. We will see what is dynamic modification group. We will understand what is dynamic modification group. Importance of dynamic modification group. Why it is used? We will understand. Then creation of dynamic modification rule, how the dynamic modification rule is created in the system, then structure of the dynamic modification rule, what dynamic modification rule will contain, then inspection state change, what is inspection state change, how it happens, we'll understand, use of dynamic modification criteria, what is dynamic modification criteria and how it is used, and then customization related to dynamic modification. So these are the topics we will be covering in the dynamic modification group okay dynamic modification is used so that inspection cost can be reduced as a result of high quality okay it is used to reduce the size of the sample and for inspection skip so in your in some companies what happens is there is no need to inspect each and every inspection lot each and every batch suppose let's say you are receiving a material from a supplier from a vendor okay that vendor is a reliable vendor okay and the organization decided that no need to inspect every incoming batch or incoming lot from that vendor let's say let's inspect first two three lots if the two three lots are okay then let's skip next five lots so these can in these kind of scenarios they will use dynamic modification basically okay so dynamic modification is used basically for two purposes either you totally skip the inspection okay as i just explained or sometimes you reduce the sample size so let me let me explain this to your notepad file suppose suppose okay one is let's say one purpose is total inspection skip total inspection skip okay that means sometimes you don't want to do inspection at all suppose let's say first two lots two lots to do inspection to do inspection then if they are okay first to two lots inspections are okay then they decide next five lots let's skip 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 means no inspection at all no inspection at all then after that what they decide after five lots skipping let's do one lot inspection i'm just giving example again one inspection and once this is this is okay it is approved then again let's skip five lots so like this they will decide next five lots let's skip okay so this is you skip the total inspection another scenario is reduce sap reduce sample quantity means let's say let's say normally you are you are doing quality inspection Let's say your sample quantity, let's say five pieces. Okay, now the organization decided that, let's say first two lots, let's say, first two lots, I'm just giving example. First two lots, let's say our sample quantity is five pieces. Okay, now, if these two lots are okay, next, next five lots, I'm just giving example. Next five lots, let's decide that we will inspect only two pieces we will do quality inspection but less number of samples so either dynamic modification is used either to totally skip the inspection or to do the reduced to to do the to do this quality inspection on the reduced samples sample quantity is reduced so these are the purposes they use the dynamic modification okay dynamic modification automatically reduces or increases the size of a sample 
according to the result of the previous inspection okay so either you can do total skip inspection skip or you can reduce the size of the samples okay the work involved for an inspection can then be reduced or increased if required basically as as you are skipping the inspection or as you are reducing your sample quantity sample size obviously the work involved can be reduced or in some cases if you increase the sample quantity the work can be increased okay so this is the dynamic modification the purpose of using the dynamic modification rule okay so basically dynamic modification rule it defines rules for changing the inspection stage okay so here if you see this picture you will get the real idea suppose let's say you are doing quality inspection on a material so let's say normal inspection every time you do four quality inspections four inspection lots so now if these four inspection lots are okay okay then you decided that we will sometimes you do reduce the inspection that means next time i will i will inspect only two two lots or you can totally skip the inspection you don't want to do inspection at all at all skip and sometimes if there is a scenario where you want to do more quality inspection then that is called tightened inspection so we have here normal inspection where you inspect the regular quality inspection regular inspection lots or sometimes you can reduce it you can reduce it or sometimes you can increase your inspection scope which is called tightened or sometimes you totally skip it you totally skip it you don't do any inspection at all okay so to do to achieve these inspection stages you use the dynamic modification okay okay so let's continue so we will go further into details a dynamic modification rule contains the definition of the inspection stages stages the dynamic modification time time and the conditions that lead to an inspection stage change so dynamic modification rule will define these stage these stages these stages these stages and 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 the conditions that lead to an inspection stage change so what made the system to proceed to the inspection stage change these are maintained in the dynamic modification rule okay there are always two options that apply to the conditions for an inspection stage change okay one is an acceptance okay and one is rejection so normally if the if the inspection lot previous inspection lots are accepted then there will be a inspection stage change or if the previous inspection lots are rejected then there will be a stage change so these are the two things that normally uh, applied for uh, stage change the system uses these conditions to update the quality level which ref which always reflects the current status i will show it in the system okay you can store dynamic modification rule in one of the following places one is in the inspection plan at the header level okay and in the inspection plan at characteristic level and in the inspection setup of the metal master record at the inspection type level at these three places you can meet okay so first let me show you the third one at the inspection type level okay so let me go to the system i'll go to the system i'll take a material in this system okay suppose let's say okay let me take this uh, let me take this material 98 nitric acid suppose if i go to this material metal master zero let me go to change port the material code is 98 enter and i will go to quality management view continue plant is 0001 if you go to inspection setup okay here you see there is a inspection type activated good received inspection for purchase order so here you see here, there is a dynamic modification rule field is there so here you can assign the dynamic modification this is one place this is one place okay so 
uh, it can be assigned it can be assigned either at inspection type level or in the inspection plan at header level or in the inspection plan at the characteristic level this i will show you in a minute when we after creating the dynamic modification rule i will show you this in the system okay so now let's create a dynamic modification rule 